a prohibited firearm. Some of the nation's leading investors, politicians, and environmentalists are in Las Vegas tonight for the third national clean energy summit. The focus of this year's conference, how renewable energy can help the slow economy. Action News reporter Annette Ariola joins us with more on that. Annette. Steve, the summit was hosted by UNLV. Now, those attending the event say this was actually the ideal location since the future work for, workforce for many of these jobs are earning their degree right here in town. Putting the American people back to work was the talk of today's summit, with Senator Harry Reid at the head of the discussions. They see the writing on the wall and they see this is where the new jobs are. This being the clean energy industry. Experts say investing in renewable sources would not only help the country cut back on our dependence on foreign oil, but also help create more jobs right here. Two billion dollar project and will employ 1,500 people during construction for three years and after that 100 people to operate the solar power plant. With the green job market looking for qualified candidates, UNLV has even created a degree minor in solar and renewable energy. In just two years, almost 100 students have enrolled in the program. Among them, Karen Wright, who feels the extra courses may give her an edge after graduation. Was job creation an incentive for you to go into this field? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's one of the growing fields in Nevada. Not many fields are growing, and I think that this is the only one, and it just seems like a no-brainer for me to sign up. The new program made possible through an NV Energy grant. The company says it's all about investing in the community and their potential pool of applicants. But it's developing these engineers that are excited about renewable energy, especially solar at UNLV, to have opportunities with our company. Experts believe Nevada is on the fast track when it comes to developing renewable resources. As one of the best spots in the country for wind, geothermal, and solar energy, they think they might even be able to export these resources to nearby states like California, which would then bring more revenue back here to Nevada. Live in the studio, Annette Arriola, Channel 13 Action News. Annette, thank you.